The Pirate Cruncher by Johnny Duddle My dear fellow pirate, do ye want to be rich? To get treasure beyond your wildest dreams? To find nuggets of gold as big as ship's beams? And diamonds and rubies the size of your eyes? Just follow this map to claim your prize. From a friend. All was unusually quiet in Port Royal, but if you listen carefully, on the quayside, down the alleyways, and in the candlelit taverns, you could hear the faint sound of a fiddle floating on the wind. Outside the thirsty parrot inn, an old fiddler appeared. As he fiddled, he sang a song. I was sailing one day, and what did I see? An island of gold in the scurvy sea. With a fiddle-dee-dee, there'll be treasure for me. Fiddle-dee-dee, across the sea. His shanty caught the ear of the dastardly Captain Purplebeard. Putting down his ale and wiping his lips, Purplebeard bellowed out the window. Treasure, you say? Can you show us the way? I'm partial to a bit of treasure. Me too. And us, we want some. So do I. I like the way it winkles. Personally, I think treasure causes nothing but trouble. To the captain's delight, the filler replied, As I sail the seas, I scribbled the map, so that when I got home, I could find my way back. Ye cannot imagine the booty that's there, a huge hole of treasure beyond compare. I can imagine a shipload of treasure, roared Captain Purplebeard. Diamonds and rubies and gold beyond measure. Yeah, I can imagine bags and bags. I'd rather have a bag of peanuts. I'd like some yugo teeth. I'd like to fill me boots with lots of loot. I want more treasure than I can eat. You eat treasure? Um, only the small bits. The fiddler unfurled his map and sang, I'll show ye my map if ye'll take me there. There'll be treasure enough for us all to share. The captain smiled and said, By thunder, that sounds just like our sort of plunder. Or my name and pirate purple beard of peasants. Finish your grog, lads. We set sail at once. Hurrah! The sun was coming up as Captain Purplebeard and his cutthroat crew boarded their ship, the Black Hole. Behind them came the old fiddler, still dancing and singing. To find this island, you'll have to be quick, for they say it performs a vanishing trick, and none who've tried to set foot on its sands have ever returned to pirate lands. But the captain just sneered, What nonsense, I say. All aboard, me hearties. Ooh, ah. Hooray! So off they sailed across the sea, and as they tucked into breakfast, the old fiddler began again. There is one small thing I forgot yesterday. There's also a monster, or so they say. He likes to eat pirates who come for his treasure, and he chews up their ships, just for good measure. You scurvy sea dog, bellowed the captain. Be it made up or monstrous, it's no match for me. I'm Captain Purplebeard, scourge of the sea. And the fiddler said, Oh yes, I agree, he doesn't scare me. Though no bones about it, he's a big old beast. 
who likes nothing more than a pirate feast. He can swallow whole ships in his whirlpool jaws, though they say he's allergic to scarlet macaws. There are rubies and diamonds the size of balloons, silver and guineas and golden doubloons. But grab it all quick, or he'll have your entrails. Now fiddle dee dee, let's spread those sails. But no one moved on the deck below. The crew looked around in fear and dread, as visions of monsters filled their heads. Actually, I've never been that fond of treasure. Yeah, I'm not sure I can stay. I forgot. It's the Parrot's Point picnic today. Let's give the ship a clean instead. If we don't go home, we'll end up dead. Go home, roared Captain Purplebeard. I'll keyhole you all, you cowardly landlubbers. The only thing you need to be frightened of is me. So, with visions of monsters in every head, the motley old crew trudged off to bed. Most had nightmares and terrible dreams, and the hold was full of pirate screams. But up on the poop deck, the captain was happy. For his head was full of dreams about treasure, gold or silver, I don't care which, just as long as it makes me filthy rich. Next morning, the crew were worried; they couldn't be sure. But the day before, it seems that they had numbered more. And the fiddler told them, "If you're too scared." Turn back to port. You're happy and healthy, but for scurvy and warts, it's safer by far to return to shore. And as for the treasure, do you really need more? Shiver me timbers! Laughed Captain Purplebeard. You should know by now that never ever can any pirate have enough treasure. And if there's a beast, it better beware. I can smell that gold. We're nearly there. Just then, from up in the crow's nest, there came a call. Land ahoy! Hurrah! Yelled the pirates, forgetting their fear. Now the promise of treasure was so very near. We're going to be rich, rich, rich. As they clambered ashore, no one saw a thing wrong. Too busy to heed the fiddler's last song. Off you go, boys! But I think I'll stay here. I doubt what you find will bring you good cheer. For a pile of old metal you don't really need has brought on a dangerous case of greed, and being greedy, you know, is wrong. Which brings me at last to the end of my song. It's ours now, all of it. More treasure for me, um, Captain. Crunch. I was swimming one day, and what did I see? A pirate packed boat in that scurvy sea. With a fiddle dee dee, there'll be dinner for me. Fiddle de dee across the burp. The end.